Hey YouTubers, uh, Farm Barif here. So on today's episode of uh, Coral Friday, I picked up a really nice specimen. Um, the specimen I picked up today is the Acapora uh, Valida. It's a beautiful coral. It's uh, purple with uh, it's purple with pink, and its polyps are actually yellow. It's a really beautiful. And the the specimen I got is a really like it's a really good sized colony. I have it here on the left right now. It's uh, been acclimating for a while, making sure I got my salinity and the temperature is uh, everything matches what's in the bag. So. I'm going to show you guys this piece. It's very beautiful. Um, I got a great deal today. It was like 20% off deal, so I had to pick it up. I've been seeing it there for a couple weeks, and I like to watch my uh, my acros, you know, SPS. When I go into the store, I always try to keep an eye on certain ones that I like, and I give it a few weeks. And if it doesn't sell, and I notice it's getting a lot of good coral growth on it, you know, it's encrusting over, you know, over the rock, then you know it's a really good piece, and it doesn't mind uh, going in like the aquarium ecosystem. You know, it's a lot different in the ocean. Some corals do better in your aquarium and some do better in the ocean right so if you can get one that goes really well in your tank is it, it, you know it's really good because i have one uh acro here it's thing it's really hardy it, it like it can take anything i can just knock a piece off that you know glue it to a rock and boom i got a new colony and, and it you know it frags up really well so i'm hoping this one too it's a beautiful uh beautiful specimen so i'm gonna show you guys i'm gonna take it to the basement um i want to make sure you know i coral dip it with the revive you know julian sprung and uh, make sure we got no pests on there. You do not want to get pests in your tank. It's a, you know, it's a real pain when you got to try to get any flatworms or any of those certain pests. So let's go ahead. We're going to coral dip this and then we're going to mount it. I'm going to probably use the epoxy, uh, the Coraline epoxy that uh, Matthew, uh, that won in the, the contest. Uh, congratulations again, Matthew, for on the Farm Boy Reef Club. You know what I mean? You, you won a, a nice uh, kit there for mounting all your coral for eggs just like I do on Coral Friday. You use the same product. So I hope you enjoy that. So let's take uh, the coral downstairs into the lab. We're going to do a little revive dip on it. Then I'll bring it up and uh, I'm going to show you where I'm going to place it, um, what application we're going to use to place it onto the rock, and uh, you know the, what it likes, the flow, um, the lighting situation. All right, guys, so let's go get this done. I just want to show you before I take it to the lab so you guys can see the size. Like, See the size of that colony? That's a good size colony right there. That's the Acropora Valida. It's a beautiful coral and the best thing I like about this it's got uh, acro crabs in there I think there's like two to three of them I like that when they come uh, right on the specimen it's great because my other corals each have their own crab and you know and they help look after the SPS and acro corals so there's a couple in there they're pretty sweet I'll try to show you guys those uh, up close and personal so let's take it down to the lab do some revive but I gotta make sure I get my crabs off of there I don't want them to to get hurt, I wanna make sure and to keep them. All right, guys? All right, guys, so I got the specimen here. I coral dipped them. I just wanted to bring them up here. Uh, I got the crabs back in the acro. In the acro. So I'm gonna show you guys, before I put it in here, um, up close, what it looks like. So did you know, like, all corals, they get like a like a slime on them when they're out of the water. That's natural, because like, when the tides go out in the real ocean, they actually get a slime on them. It keeps them moist because of the sun. So when the, when the, when the tide goes down, they're actually exposed to the elements. So by naturally they excrete uh, the slime and it protects them. So you can actually take your corals out of the water, you know, and you can look at them before you end up putting them in the tank. It won't hurt them. So I just want to show you guys here. So I'm just going to take this specimen out. So there you go. That's a good size piece there. I don't know if you guys can, you guys can see the crabs at all. Where are they? They're right down in there. So there's two, there's a there it is right there. The crab right in there. So that's it. You guys can see the purple with the pink and it's got yellow polyps. So a few pieces actually broke off in the bag. So now I can make little frags and I'll glue those all over the place. So I'm gonna get him uh, in into the tank here, right, guys. So I got the coral mounted up right now. There, that's the valida right there. I put it in the middle of the tank. Um, in this area, there's a lot of flow and a lot of light. Um, with this SPS, it likes a lot of light. So I got T5s as well for my SPS. I find the SPS really love the T5 lighting. Plus I have the radions and they're very bright. So to move on, um, so by adding more flow to your SPS coral will actually str uh, strengthen the skeleton and make it stronger and that makes them more uh, broad. This way if your fish or anything are swimming around like my, you know, my regal tangs there, they're pretty fast in here. They can, uh, you know, run into it, snap parts off, but then you can frag it up. It can be nice, but it's nice to keep all your show pieces intact. Um, I end up mounting this coral with the Aquascape construction uh, putty that I had a contest there on uh, the Farm Boy Reef Club. Uh, Matthew, uh, congratulations, you won one of these as well. 
just at, just by using these two applications, adding to the tank definitely makes your corals a lot stronger attached to the rock. And it's nice with the Aquascape. It's got the, the Coraline Algae uh, Purple. So it really blends in, you mold it into the rock. And then with your glue, I find you make the mold of your coral, put a little bit of glue in there, push it in, mold it around your coral a bit, and shove it into the rock. You'll get a lot better application this way. You won't have uh, your, you know, your fish or like my Regal Tang, whatever, he likes to pick stuff up and move stuff around, you know, while I'm gone all day. So they get bored sometimes, right? So this way they, they can't take them off. So that's where I'm at. So I'm going to show you guys here under the under the blue lights here on the radions. We'll start knocking things down there off the reef link. And we'll go by percentages and uh, we'll see if we can see any colors uh, pop off this uh, SPS. All right, guys. All right, guys. So I got my reef link open uh, on my other phone. So now we're going to go ahead. We'll start turning the radions down to the blues and see if we can uh, get that SPS to pop. All right, guys. Yeah, so I got the coral right here. You can see where I use the, the putty to attach it. It's quite a big piece, so I needed quite a bit to get it to really stick. So let's start turning. We've got the radions on right now. i got the reef link open. So let's try to pull these down. There goes the reds. There goes the greens. So here's our cool whites. Our cool whites are going to be going down here. So there's our cool whites. So now you can see the yellow, the yellow polyps on it a bit. Let's bring our blues down to 30%. Bring it down a little more. Let's bring our royal blues down a bit. So you guys can start to see a little bit of the polyps. You know what I mean? It's like a yellowish pink to it. It's really nice looking. Try to bring it down a little bit more. That looks good. All right, let's try a let's try a preset. Let's go to presets. Let's go down to polyfluorescent. It's pretty sweet looking under the polyfluorescence. Let's go reef creations. It looks good under that as well. I'm seeing it for the first time to you guys. See, so yeah, but there's the coral, guys. All right, guys. So that's uh, the episode for today for uh, Coral Fridays. Um, I hope you guys like this episode. I end up getting the, the SPS Acro uh, Valida there. It's a really nice uh, coral. I hope you guys get a chance to pick up that piece as well. Um, please leave your comments below. If there's any corals that you guys would like to see, um, you know, please leave your comments. And I will definitely go out on the search and look for this coral, guys. Um, so, yeah. So, thanks for tuning in. Um, you know, please subscribe. Hit the like button. You never know what kind of video I'm going to come up with next, guys. All right. Thanks. Bye.